Hey, it's Dave Wyman, another installment of Football 101, and uh, I drew number 37, Quandre Diggs. Really big here because, man, I swear, he's probably 5'10", uh, maybe 5'9", but he is starting to really have an effect on this defense, and he's flying around the field, and, and mostly he's making other players better. And Pete Carroll talked about that yesterday in his press conference a couple of days ago. Um, about how the really good players make everyone around them better. And so, and I think he's given all of these guys a, a lot of confidence. And two plays where it came up big, this is in the first quarter, Seahawks uh, really kind of blowing out Philadelphia for most of the game. They allowed that last drive, which was unfortunate because they got like 80 yards and another six points, whereas it could have been under 300 and uh, about three points, so or exactly three points. So anyway, they end up scoring a touchdown in the end, but the defense played so well. One of the reasons why they were able to go man to man is because Philadelphia was down with their receivers. They did not have, you know, they felt like they could definitely match up. So what happens here, this is first and 10, uh, I'm sorry, second and nine at the 10. Um, they brought some pressure here. All four uh, rushed the passer and then they brought Michael Kendricks and this is true cover one here where everybody underneath has a man and you got one guy, a safety over the top to protect. So Bobby goes out with the running back. He's manned up there. Bradley McDougal is manned up here and you got two tight ends. There's KJ Wright. And then this was their draft choice, Arcega Whiteside, and he's running just a slant on, uh, on Trey Flowers right here. And <laughs> Trey did a great job of staying outside, but I know that it gives him confidence knowing that he's got number 37 in the middle of the field. And so he does a great job of just kind of trailing him and then reaching across. And you always talk about the, the long arm. You know, if you reach with this arm, it, you don't get nearly as far, whereas if you reach with this arm, you know, you get the width of your back basically. And he did exactly that. He went with his left arm and knocked the ball away. And a lot of it has to do with the confidence and knowing that if he does catch the ball, 37 is going to be there. So um, great play here. Uh, Trey Flowers probably had the best game. He had, I think, four passes broken up and um, an interception. Another one uh, here, and I'll just go ahead and Call attention to this right here because I really think it's a bad call. Uh, this was a lowering the head, um, the same type of situation here. This time you have Shaquille Griffin and Shaquille told us this week that he feels like Quandre Diggs makes him better. And so, you know, it gives him more confidence. But on this play, it was 35 seconds left in the third quarter. I'm sorry, first, first and 10. And they got Zach Ertz lined up here, which is by far Carson Wentz's favorite receiver, and just kind of ran a little bend route back inside. One of the things that happened, I've been talking a lot about the underneath droppers, is Bradley McDougal got a decent drop there, and he kind of made Wentz hesitate a little bit. And when you make the quarterback hesitate, it's not a direct throw. It's kind of more of a, you gotta put some air under it sometimes, or you have to wait a little bit that gives big number 37 a chance to come up here and react. So <clears throat> Bradley does a great job. Uh, Shaquille's really tight on him on the outside. He does make the catch, but Diggs comes up and blows him up. Here's what I have a problem with. You, you say lower the head. He was trying to lower his shoulder. Well, look, your head goes where your shoulder goes, right? And so, you know, and I could see if one thing, if he came up and did this, you know, just like, you know, you see those two, the rams that butt each other i mean it's nothing like that he was trying to get his shoulder down there so i really hate that call but i would say to him to quandary Diggs, keep doing it because look it, you know sometimes you're going to get your shoulder in there you're not going to get called but mostly this sends a message around the league but you know number 37 quandary Diggs, he's just done a great job of really bringing this defense together and it's just one player but that confidence and communication back there, I think has made the Seahawks defense a lot better. And I've said for the last couple of weeks, since that 49er game, the difference with a really good defense on this team right now is making it to the playoffs versus winning in the playoffs. And if they can continue to play this way, they're gonna win in the playoffs.